Sadly late, not fashionably late. I generally got stuck uh, in traffic, you know, Mumbai. To, you know, always get away with an excuse of saying that I was stuck in traffic. But I was actually uh, stuck in traffic. Heard towards the end makes a lot of sense. A lot of sense to me because you know, I was sitting there. I was. It actually took me back to my college years, and I was wondering, were would these thoughts even cross? a mind back in the day then you know i don't think that we ever thought of changing the country we did have our own ambitions we did have our own goals but we never thought of bringing in a revolution we i think uh, you know it was much smaller thinking not because uh, we weren't exposed i think uh, it was because there weren't too many avenues available you know when you when i went to my college in st xavier's uh, amdabad i remember life was all about hostel college canteen lab I'm a science graduate, you know, labs, girls also, you know, chai ki dukaan galla, chai ka galla, maximum cinema halls, breaking some rules, that was it. And then, towards the end, towards the final year, I am getting worried about your future. Uh, I see these guys talk, I mean, amazingly well, I mean, you just start wondering, man, tum log kap paida huye the, kap bade huye, or itne smart, itne intelligent kap bade? But I think that is also the exposure. I mean, so much is happening around. We have, I mean, as youngsters, you have so many avenues, you have so many platforms, you have so much to do, you can do so much. I think when I was in college, I never thought that I can actually bring in a revolution. I can only maybe start something, I could do something. You know, we were, there were times when we were bullied by seniors, by, you know, college presidents and all, and we didn't have ways and means to reach out. We didn't have ways and means to, to shake up the uh, college management or, uh, the authorities or the government, forget about the government, you know, we didn't have ways and means to even tell them that we are here and we have an issue, we wanted to reach out to you, but there weren't any ways besides the conventional ones. Now, sitting here, you know, you can bring in a change nationally, on a national scale, on an international scale, 
All you've got to do is just join hands. All you've got to do is just pick up the right platform and you can actually bring in the change. This country, I guess, today I think most of you must be knowing, you know, there's 65% youngsters. India is made of 65% youth, which means you guys actually rule without knowing that you guys are ruling. Whatever is happening in the country, be it any governments come, governments fall, any other things that are, that are happening in this country, you guys are really instrumental. You probably would not be even knowing your strength, but you guys are really instrumental in bringing the change and in what the state of the country is. So all I say with all the intelligence, with all the exposure, with all your sensibility, be aware of your responsibility. You know, you actually will have to be aware of your responsibility because you can and you are the ones who will bring in the change in this country. So on that note, I'll let others also, you know, give their views of it. By the way, wonderful being here. And uh, yeah, so whom do you want me to pass the mic to? Sir, I think it's only appropriate. Firstly, that is all our audience. We also got a very honest inputs from you, so yes, that's a wonderful side of it. And when you spoke about becoming more aware and more responsible, I think up next it's only befitting that I request Sri Khalid Saab to share his perspectives as well. And there was no way you can express yourself differently. But today's youth, I see and I believe that they truly believe in this thing that they can change the things for better. And that is how the whole civilization has progressed. We were hunter-gatherers at some point of time, we became agriculturists, we became industrial people, we became technological people and information age people. We have passed through a lot of phases, but in everything what was consistent that the concept that there is a better way to do things. There is more efficient way, there is more economical way and there is a more probably humane way of doing things. Amaya and his colleagues to establish such things that a lot of energy is there in the youth. But where is the channel? We don't have the channel. And when the channel is not there, it is channelizing something disruptive. The need of the hour was to get that energy channelized in a way that it becomes as it is we have progressed in the last 20, 30 odd years. Well, I see the change when you go to a foreign country, the way Indians are being looked at and 30 years down the line, uh, back, the way we were being treated. A lot of change has taken place and a lot of confidence has come in. Okay, so you don't like to come over here because they're going to complain to me always. Yes, there you go. First of all, um, hello everybody, and I'm super excited to be here. It's so nice to see all you guys here supporting this beautiful cause. And I hope college life is treating you guys well. I don't know, I can't really remember when I was into, you know, thinking what can I do for the country or, you know, let's do something for the world. I mean, I was busy in my own life doing my own thing in college. I had no time to think about these things. So, Abhishek and Amai, you guys are doing a brilliant job here trying to um, think about a change, honestly. And when I was listening to them talk, I was like, you know, it's great that at least someone's trying to do something different and not busy in their own lives. Because I think all of us are pretty much busy with what we're doing and we think that is the whole world that we're living in. But there's so much more to actually do. So um, I want to wish you guys all the best for the initiative. And I hope that everybody who's here can participate and not be like a passive listener or viewer and actively participate in this and try to bring a change and I think that really works out well for everybody. Thank you everybody. Well thank you very much Neha. In fact uh, I think you were also part of the movie Younger Side to you know, address a very different topic altogether. So thank you so much again Neha. Well we're going to continue on that note and I'm going to be asking the very beautiful Avni of course. Next, that's right. I'm going to request you also to share your inputs with 